Example one, when hydrogen reacts with oxygen, gives water balance the reaction. The reactant is it is hydrogen and oxygen. The product is water. The first step is translate the statement into skeleton equation. That is a chemical formula arrangement in equation format. Hydrogen is it is H2 and oxygen is it is O2 because hydrogen and oxygen exist in diatomic form. So write hydrogen is H2 and oxygen O2 and the chemical formula for water is it is H2O. And the second step is place the total valency of each atom above it. The total valency for hydrogen is one hydrogen is it is um, one valency, but here it is two, two times one it is. And the total valency for oxygen, one oxygen has the valency of two, but here it is two, two times two, which is four. And the valency for hydrogen in water, one hydrogen atom has a valency of one, but here it is two, two times one, it is two. And for oxygen, here it is one atom of oxygen in water molecule. So the valency for oxygen, it, it is two. The third step is find the LCM of each total valency and place it above the arrow. Find the LCM of four and two. Tell the same for two and four is it is four. Then write this four above the arrow. The fourth step is divided the L same by each total valency number to obtain the coefficient for each of the reactant in the product and place the obtain the coefficient in front of the respective formula. So here four divided by two it is two. So write as a coefficient here two for hydrogen and it 4 divided by 4, it is 1, but no need to write here 1, ignore that one. Then 4 divided by 2, that is 2 also, 4 divided by 2, it is 2, write 2 here. The fifth step is check the, that the equation is balanced. The atom in the reactant side must be equal to the atom which is present in the product side. Look, this 2 times 2, it is 4 atom of hydrogen here. And again here in the product side, 2 times 2, it is 4 atom of also hydrogen is, it is present. Now, in case of hydrogen, it is balanced. Look, oxygen again. Oxygen in the reactant side, here it is 2. And also, this 2 is used for hydrogen and oxygen. It is a coefficient for both hydrogen and oxygen and used for hydrogen and also oxygen, two oxygen here, this also two oxygen, so it is balanced, specifies the state of matter. The state for hydrogen is it is gas, and oxygen also gas, and the water is it is liquid. This is the balanced equation for hydrogen reactors with oxygen to give water. Example two, when copper is added to Silver nitrate gives copper, nitrate and silver. Copper and silver nitrate is here it is a reactant side product. Is, it is copper nitrate and silver. The first step is translate the statement into a skeletal equation. Here copper is it is Cu, silver nitrate is it is Ag, and no sorry. Copper nitrate also it is Cu and no sorry too. Silver is it is Ag. The second step is place the total valency of each atom and write above it. Look, the valency for copper is, it is 2. The valency for silver in silver nitrate is, it is 1. And the valency of nitrate in silver nitrate also 1. The valency of copper in copper nitrate is, it is 2. The valency of nitrate in copper nitrate also it is 2. And the valency of silver is it. The third step is find the LCM of total valency and place it above an arrow. The LCM for 2 and 1 is it is 2. Then the fourth step is divided the LCM by each total valency number to obtain the coefficient of each of the reactant and the product. For copper, 2 divided by 2 is it is 1. No need to write. 1 here, 2 divided by 1, for silver it is a 2, and for nitrate also, 2 divided by 1, 2, write here as a coefficient 2. 
then 2 divided by 2 it is 1 for copper and also 2 divided by 2 in nitrate also it 1 no need to write here 1 as a coefficient I leave that one then 2 divided by 1 it is 2 for silver the fifth step is check the equation is balanced and specify the state of matter check it look here in the reactant side one copper atom is present again here in the uh, product side one copper is present in case of silver nitrate look in the reactant side two silver is uh, present here again it is in the product side two silver atom is present uh, in nitrate here it is this two is used for silver and the nitrate also nitrate it is two here also it is two the reaction is it is balanced specify the state of matter copper is it is solid silver nitrate it is aqua solution copper nitrate also aqua solution and silver it is it is a solid this is the balanced equation for copper reactors with silver nitrate to give copper nitrate in silver Example 3. Write the chemical equation when an aqua solution of calcium nitrate is added to an aqua solution of sodium hydroxide to produce solid calcium hydroxide in an aqua solution of sodium nitrate. In the reactant side, calcium nitrate and sodium hydroxide is, it is present. In the product side, calcium hydroxide and sodium nitrate are present. So the first step is Translate this statement into a skeletal equation. The chemical formula for calcium nitrate is CaNO32. And the chemical formula for sodium hydroxide is NaOH. The chemical formula for calcium hydroxide is, is CaOH2. For sodium nitrate is, it is NaNO3. The second step is place the total balance. The total balance for, for calcium in calcium nitrate is, it is 2 and right above it. And for nitrate in calcium nitrate, the balance of nitrate is 1. Two atom of nitrate is, it is present. So the total balance for nitrate is, it is 2 times 1, that is 2. The balance of sodium in sodium hydroxide is, it is 1. And the, the total balance for hydroxide ion in sodium hydroxide also one the total valency in calcium in calcium hydroxide is also two and the total valency for hydroxide ion in calcium hydroxide here uh, one hydroxide ion is it is a one valency here it is two two times one that is two for sodium in sodium nitrate the valency it is one and the nitrate also in sodium nitrate the balance is 1. The third step is find the LCM of 2 and 1. The LCM of 2 and 1 is it is 2. Write this 2 on the arrow. The fourth step is divide the LCM by each total valency number to obtain the coefficient. 2 divided by 2, 1. Here again, 2 divided by 2, it is 1. No need to write 1 for calcium nitrate. The total valency for sodium is 1, 2 divided by 1, it is 2, 2 divided by 1, 2. Then write here 2 as a coefficient for calcium hydroxide, 2 divided by 2, it is 1, 2 divided by 2, it is 1. No need to write here 1, but for sodium nitrate, the total charge for sodium is it is 1, and also the nitrate is it is 1, 2 divided by 1, it is 2, 2 divided by 1, also it is 2. Then the, the coefficient for sodium nitrate is it is 2. The fifth step is check the equation is balanced. Here one calcium is present in the reactant side. In the product side also it is one calcium. Here two nitrate in the reactant side. Also here two nitrate in the product side. The nitrate also balanced. Here two sodium is in the reactant side here two sodium is in the product side the sodium is also balanced here two hydroxide ion is in the reactant side here again two hydroxide ion is present on the product side then the hydroxide ion also balanced this implies the chemical equation is it is balanced 
finally specify the state of matter calcium nitrate is it is aqueous sodium hydroxide also aqueous and calcium hydroxide is it is solid also sodium nitrate is it is an aqueous solution example four write the chemical equation when methane reacts with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water methane and oxygen is in the reactant side and carbon dioxide and water in the product side the first step is translate this word equation into a skeletal equation the formula for methane is ch4 uh, symbol for oxygen is it is o2 the chemical formula for carbon dioxide is it is co2 and the chemical formula for water is it is h2o the second step is place the total valence of each atom above it the total valence for carbon in methane is it is 4 the total valence for hydrogen in methane is also 4 the total valence oxygen here it is 4 because each oxygen atom has a valence of 2 but here it is 2 2 times 2 it is 4 for carbon dioxide the total valence of carbon is it is 4 and the total valence for oxygen is again 4 the total valence of hydrogen here in water is it is 2 and oxygen also 2 the third step is find the lcm of each total valence the lcm for 4 and the 2 is it is 4 write the lcm on the arrow here for the step is write the coefficient here by dividing the lcm with each total valence no need to write here 1 again 4 divided by 4 for oxygen again it is 1 no need to write here again the coefficient 1 again here no need to write here 1 4 divided by 2 here it is a 2 then write here 2 the fifth step is check the equation is balanced here it is one carbon in the reactant side again one carbon in the product side four hydrogen here two times four four hydrogen on the product side it balanced but look here one times two two oxygen here but here it is two plus here it again two four oxygen is unbalanced then balance by trial and error but add here two now it's balanced two times two four four oxygen on the reactant side and also here two oxygen here two oxygen two plus two it is four now it is balanced by trial and error then uh, lastly specify the state of matter methane it is gas oxygen also gas carbon dioxide also gas and water is a liquid write the balance equation for the reaction of the molecule nitrogen and oxygen to form dinitrogen pentoxide the reactant nitrogen and oxygen reactors to form dinitrogen pentoxide the first step is translate this word equation into a skeleton equation the symbol for nitrogen is n2 because nitrogen is do not exist in monoatomic form it exists in diatomic form not only nitrogen oxygen also exists in diatomic form dinitrogen pentoxide means di indicates two and two and penta indicates for five then oxygen is its penta it is five then the second step is uh, place the total valence of each atom above it the valence for nitrogen here it is 10 why because the valence for nitrogen is it is 5 but here it is a diatomic it is 2 2 times 5 that is 10 and oxygen one oxygen has a valence of 2 two oxygen has a total valence of 4 here also 2 times 5 it is a 10 nitrogen and oxygen 2 times 5 it is also 10 the third step is write the lcm of each total valence lcm for 10 and 4 is it is 20 and write the lcm of the arrow so for the step is divided the lcm by each total valence number divided 20 by 10 that is 2 and write a coefficient 2 here for nitrogen and 20 divided by 4 it is 5 write here a coefficient for oxygen 20 divided by 10 for the nitrogen pentoxide 20 divided by 10 is it is uh, 2 
right here as a coefficient two for dinitrogen pentoxide. The last step is check whether the equation is balanced or not and also specify the state of matter look two times four here it is nitrogen four two times two it is four also two times five oxygen ten also here five times two ten the equation is balanced and specify the state of matter nitrogen is it is gas oxygen also gas dinitrogen pentaoxide also gas